Welcome to Pete Town. You guys filmed mostly in Long Island, but you also shot some stuff in Provincetown. Can you talk about why the show is set there and like why it, you know it's sort of indicative and important to the story? Our show creator Rebecca Cutter, uh, uh, she she grew up out there and she had a lot of experiences out there, so she wanted to write about something that she she understood. And um, it, you know the the heroin epidemic is not you know it's it's not just Cape Cod; it's it's everywhere. You know what I mean? But that's just the, the setting for our show. P-Town having such a, like, a thriving gay community, too, really, like, helps play into Jackie's character. And, like, Carnival is a great way to set off the first episode. Yeah, it's super fun, right? Yeah. Just queens everywhere. It was so fun filming in Provincetown. I had never been there. I'd never been to Cape Cod. So, like, being in this town that was so supportive of such an artistic community as well as our LGBTQ community, and then you have, it's a hub, right? So it also has, like, this really thriving, like, blue collar industries as well, the fish fishing industry. Uh, so it's a lot of different types of people in this small town. And like, of course, it totally makes sense why somebody would want to shoot a, a, a TV show there. There's just, it's so rich with all kinds of people. This is not your first time <laughs> playing a prisoner. Um, why do you think uh, people are like, that guy looks like a criminal? I think it's a phase. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. No, um, <laughs> I don't know um, I, but why I attract these roles. Uh, but I have to say this one, I'm glad that I attracted this one. Um, it's so different from the other show that we, we know I did, Prison Break. Mm-hmm. Um, then this one, uh, you know, I, and the other one, I was the lovable guy you know the inmate that everybody want everybody wanted to be his best friend um and this one i don't have that many best friends uh and um you know but it's it's a character that i adore uh, because of the um, layers that he has it's it's he's the villain he's the puppeteer he's the one calling the shots from prison and um the relationship that he has with his baby mama um it's also fascinating because does he love her? Does is it? What is it? Is, is he um, trying to test her? Um, he's a father as well, so um, we see many layers of this guy. There's something very powerful about running a crew and being able to do it locked up. Like mm-hmm. that's pretty powerful when you can run hits from inside. And he's such a sweet dude, man. I love working with that guy. You know, it's so funny. He's like Ray and Frankie are like this at each other. And then the cameras will stop, and me and him will just start laughing, and we're hanging out, talking. Like, I just, I love working with that guy. You know, Renee has an emotional wall up against everyone and is only penetrable about by her son. Yeah. yeah. He's, I mean, she wants to give him a better life than she had. I wasn't very familiar with Junior's world, you know, when I first got this part. So I had to do, <laughs> I had to do quite a bit of research, quite a bit of work um, to kind of understand kind of, uh, where he's at at the outset of the show, which is obviously 90 days sober, trying to get back with his girl and his, you know, his baby that he has with her, and kind of like set his ship straight. He's a good guy. He, you know, he wants to make a better life um, for his girlfriend and, and their baby, but it's not going to be through fishing lobster, you know, especially the way he's doing it. Um, so he's got to go with some extracurricular activities. I have an amazing life. I live in Provincetown. It's like Shangri-La. Ticket for you at the door, Jackie. Thank you, baby. Your character is in the National Marine Fishery Service, among other things. Did you learn anything about fishing? <laughs> or about <laughs> fishing laws? You know what, girl? <laughs> I did not learn a damn thing about fishing. <laughs> but I learned how to use a badge to get what I want. I did learn how to drive the, a very large fishing boat. Jackie is the kind of officer who makes sure that the fishermen are following the rules. Lobster cop. Lobster cop. Lobster, Fish cop, lobster, lobster cop. Lobster cop. Well, I was going to ask you have a pretty pretty solid accent for the show. Did you work with a with a with a dialect coach? Yeah, but it, you know the funny part is, is is I'm from New York and I'm very auditory. So if we were shooting in Cape Cod the whole time, I could just stay in Cape Cod the whole time. But we're shooting in New York, and then they're like, they're like, the, the, what's wrong here? And he's like, yeah, it's it's Cape Cod, Cape Cod, Brooklyn, Cape Cod, Brooklyn, 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 Cape Cod. And so <laughs> it's a little bit of a, I think Ray Abruzzo's dad grew up in Brooklyn. That's the yeah, way but I'm, I gotta yeah. say, like, I think that he does a really great job because uh, I'm auditory sweet. too, and I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to dialects. And you did a really ki- kick-ass job. Keep saying that. Keep telling me that. And my character doesn't have an eye. It's more standard. She's more. She talks the way I, I talk. I might be a little bit looser, but I don't have a Massachusetts accent. And that was a deliberate choice. Yeah.